So this is a week after the epic ride. We did a total of 1,080 miles. Um, this video is filmed predominantly on GoPro. Some of it is Facebook Live footage. Um, we were pushed for time anyway. It was pretty excruciating. We're talking 10 hour riding days, um, each day, 13 days on average. So we didn't really have time or the capability with just the two of us whilst riding along at quite high speeds um, on this challenge to set up tripods and do all the proper filming um, that we could do. So it's usually GoPro footage. So just be aware of that. Nothing we can do about that. Um, with just the two of us fully unsupported. So this whole thing unsupported just off our own backs. So I hope you enjoy. It is long. It's going to be long, isn't it? Because it's 13 days crammed down, trying to get it down. I don't know what it's going to be before uh, the final edit, but it's going to be around about an hour, hour and a half. I hope you enjoy it. Please like, share um, and subscribe. Enjoy. So this is it, this is the big day. I've been work, working and waiting for this all year. So today we start on a thousand mile adventure. Yeah, I'll say that again, a thousand mile adventure. This is beyond uh, anything we might even imagined last year. Um, and we're not even sure if we can do it. We're not even sure if the wheels we're riding will make a thousand miles. We're not even sure if we physically can do a thousand miles, but we're gonna give it our very best. We're all Ready to go, wearing the gear and I'm going to raise some money for Bernardo's, which is what it's all about. But it's also about having a good time, having fun. Let's get this thing started. <laughs> a thousand miles. Wow, what a trip. That is going to be one of the most important parts of the whole trip. I'm on my way to get Ian. It's just a little after seven o'clock. We've got our first radio interview um, starting in about 45 minutes um, and we need to be there for that and then we need to leave sharply at nine o'clock because we've got uh, the radio live radio on Radio Gloucester <laughs> it's in the big time um, so that should be a bit of fun but it means that we are for the first time being held to a bit of a schedule that we must stick to normally we say we'll leave it nine and we're still there at 10 10 30. <laughs> i've never known two people able to waste more time but have such good fun to be fair i'm about three minutes earlier than i said it would be his children's teeth there that he keeps and once the child's tooth comes out keeps that doesn't believe the tooth fairy so that's the uh, rhythmical knock of um please let me in or i'll be here, here all day. A minute and a half I've been stood knocking at the door. Maybe he's changed his mind, he didn't want to go. Ah. Look, here he is, look. Right. Yeah, there's me saying, disparaging things. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> what have you been doing, sleeping? <laughs> How come? Just catch this. Well, there's doing it. What, proper work? Real work? I woke up like really early in the morning. I was awake since five. I was, I was, fuck, oh, just gone five. I saw you had a light on in the top of the thing. I was like, wee! <laughs> Dawn course, it's about 5.20 in the morning. <sighs> Start of a very long day. Just to explain, I'm off to work before it all kicks off. Um, there's stuff to process before I leave. Tony's doing, the guy's taking over while I'm off. Okay, essentially being a dumping ground <laughs> for all the uh, all stuff to store it. Um, all the stuff on charge, so I'm gonna get on and sort some work out first. Ready to go, but we we are all charged up and ready to leave. Oh, I got loads to do. I got still got loads to do. Well, should we Never get on do stuff? It's a stupid idea of going away for two weeks <laughs> when you run a business. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, dawn on me, I was like, "Hang on a minute, <laughs> this is mental." Right, shall I shift this out of the way then? Or do you get your yeah, stuff loaded in with first? It or not. Hmm? Yeah, I'll start with it. Should do. It's facing down now, so it'd be easier to bump otherwise, yeah, isn't it? Then, yeah. uh, should we load your stuff in it and then swap over? I haven't really got anything. I, take, I took it with me. I took the wheel oh, with me, all those books with me, the clothing with me. And that was slagging him off thinking he was still in bed because he wasn't answering the door. 
<laughs> Two minutes of video with me banging on the door. And you've been up for hours working. BBC Radio 4. I check I it. I arrived here and said quarter past. I check, it. I check it all back. He didn't really say that. You wouldn't have done it. No, you wouldn't have done it. We review that first. You wouldn't have said it if you said nice things. Definitely. Uh, Ian Hayton, pop on to the, um, the, the, the unicycle. So it's an electric unicycle then, Steve. You've just got to put the, uh, the crush helmet on because it's got, uh, it's got a camera on there as well, Jonathan. Yeah. Um, off you go then, Ian. Give us a bit of a demonstration <laughs> as Ian hops up. And we off he goes back in the hill here in Mitchell Deep. And it is very silly. It's just kind of like standing up, Steve, but with a wheel between your feet. They don't make it look really easy, but I'm sure it's not that easy at all. Um, very best of luck then to Jonathan and Ian, who are going to be uh, setting off here for Mitchell Deep. And, uh, Boom, we're live. We are live. So we're setting off now for the Thousand Miles. The crowds have gathered. This is like the long walk down the start of an epic. Potentially fatal, no, no, potentially difficult journey. Live, so people playing football, again. bored because they're waiting for so long. Oh, I see, so. Oh, and uh, against my better judgment, I'll be talked into it. Over and your head. Over my head. Yay, thank you. I found it. Ah, did you? What are you doing? Just about to go? Just going to go, yes. Days of miles. How are you feeling? Tired out now. Tired out. Jonathan's the navigator, so he knows exactly which way we're going. So I'm just going to leave that to him. I like your backpacks. You watch where you go. I'll go that way, and in a few seconds you'll see us wobble, turn around, and come back. Yeah, shall we? Yeah, okay. Do I get a kiss? All right, folks. Thank you. We'll see you in. See you later. Don't forget. Right. See you guys. See ya. See you, dude. Have fun, boys and girls. See ya. Bye. See you in about two weeks. See you in a minute, Dad. See you in a minute. When will we be back to my ice palace, Dad? To your ice palace? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. See you later. Yeah, yeah, Bye. Go on holiday and get me the football. Bye. Can you get me football, Get your football on the stairs of Milo. Yeah, well, <laughs> I got you some slate last time, so we can step up. Thanks for coming, Tim. See you. Oh, no, You're going to join us for a thousand miles? A thousand miles? <laughs> Right, and we are off. So, on the road again. See you, boy. Love you, mate. Have a good one. Yeah. Bye. Bye, dude. See you in two weeks. See you, see you in two weeks. Where are we going? On a unicycle ride. <laughs> see you, Rubes. Bye. we got crowds there, all joining. Whee, join your face. See you in a bit. On the road again. Right, time for a sit down. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where are you going now? That's the wrong side of the road. Okay. Thanks, Ronnie. Thanks, Darren. Appreciate it. If you're still watching. And this is it, everyone. This is a monumental. It's finally hitting home <laughs> as we're leaving. That we've committed to do, if you can hear me, we've committed to do a thousand miles. A thousand. This is incredible. Uh, so we've had BBC Radio Gloucestershire do an interview this morning with us. And now Jonathan's going to go up the wrong, <laughs> wrong way. One wheel, wrong way. <laughs> wrong, one wheel, wrong way. Man, oh man. This is going to be tough. It's only the realisation that once you put the bags on, suddenly realize that what you've got yourself in for that's probably the, way the best the best way to do it is to prep up literally before you leave for the first time ever otherwise you probably wouldn't bother doing it yeah. hello no one thing we're renowned for is just not really getting it quite right at the right time so we're just going to quickly screenshot our miles and then go on. How much the backpacks weigh? Uh, probably around about 25 kilograms, 20, 25 kilograms. 25 kilograms. That's a supporter, beeping us. Is it flashing red? Hey, you're on camera. Is it? No. It's facing the floor. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, there you go. I've put it on wrong. Have I? Really? So it does do that if you film me. Pretty much. 
Oh, you're kidding me. Right, I'll turn that off then. That was pointless. We're raising money for Bernardo's children's charity. We're riding a thousand miles, going right across the UK. Good job. Uh, we are, yeah. So it's the first day. We've, we've done about, uh, about 18 miles so far. So we've got a long way to go. So this is my first video entry of the trip. It is, yeah, I've not done anything so far. We are... It's amazing, is it? It is, yeah. Right, we're gonna start that again. For the, for the benefit of those watching this, both of you, you need to know that in my head, in the helmet, I've got a, a Bluetooth connection that connects to Ian's helmet. <laughs> And while I'm talking to camera, he is now talking to me, putting me off, saying very silly things. So, it makes actually doing a recording quite tricky, because you've got to speak and ignore this idiot's voice in your head. I'm not even speaking. What's that? Bushy! Hey, this is going to make no sense. I will make the videos even more difficult to edit. Just leave it to be said that we're having a good time. Uh, but it's not, uh, it's not easy, this. don't get tricked in thinking that it's easy. Uh, that, that, uh, it's <laughs> uh, you can't get the staff. Right, I'll turn this off. That was good. I have no idea how good the signal's going to be. Uh, we're in the middle of pretty much nowhere. But we seem to have 3G, so we've gone live. Can I turn the camera around? I can. Hey, hey. Whee. Whee. Right, we haven't had breakfast, nor lunch yet. It's not quite lunchtime because Jonathan didn't take us to Monmouth. It was unnecessary. Unnecessary, was it? Yeah. I think food is for the weak, weak minded. Weak minds think alike. <laughs> <laughs> I am feeling absolutely fantastic. I got up at five o'clock this morning. I was aching before we set off. I felt like I needed to lie down by half past ten. And, uh, and here we are, it's all good, isn't it? It is. Whereabouts are we? What speed are you going, I've been asked? Uh, what speed are you going? Averaging around about four or five miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were going, we we're trying to crack on about 20 miles an hour, but we keep getting lost. The average speed is really, really low. So. But we're meeting nice people, and we're meeting nice people who are, who are uh, chatting to us, and it's lovely to chat to people, but it really slows you down. Yeah, chat, chatting is a killer. That's the trouble. Um, but yeah, so we, we go anywhere from eight miles an hour up to 20 odd miles an hour. Right, we're live. And um, we're in Abergavenny. John there. He loves it.
Boom, let's do this. Let's do it. Where are you going? Go in. There's no one here. No. John's going to do some begging. And then we're going to see how it goes. Are you going to film the begging? Should we film the begging? Am I going to go fully tooled up with all the helmet and everything? Oh, I'll take your helmet off, Roger. All right, so there's John's. No, that's mine. There's John's. He's just going to go and ask. We need to get him on charge now, because if we can't get him on charge, we are in trouble. Anyway, so I shall leave you guys once again. It is not a bad day. Not bad. It's a bit cloudy. Yeah, it's not bad. A bit cloudy. But uh, he knows it's not bad as well, which is quite good. And uh, yeah, look at that, it's nice, isn't it? How long, how long has it been on a charge? Uh, this is about 55, 60 miles on one charge. But we, we're riding about 100 miles a day, so we can stop and charge upon route six. We're only doing 1,000 miles. 1,000 miles is the plan, yeah. Okay, we're all plugged in and charging. Come on here. Um, the only problem is one charge has gone then already. I've got a green light on this charger here, um, and that's not right. Um, when you plug it into a port where one's red, it's still green, so that means that this charge is broken, which is bizarre because we tested it all fully. Um, and never mind. So in the first first charge we're doing, a charge has gone down. We get through it though. What? Right, and now we're live. Jonathan's still at this time. Um, we just established that we're going to be until midnight doing this uh, first day. So, uh, yeah, we're miles behind. We've just finished our first charge. We have done, um, what, an hour? Was it two hours charging? Hour and a half charging, apparently. Um, but one of my charges has gone down. Just to let everyone know who's following along that we have left Abergavenny um, and we're now on the second part of the journey, which is to the Brecon Beacon. Operation. Um, anyway, we need one of those in a minute because we've gone for one of those. How, how many miles are we in, John? Sixty miles in. Mine is what fifteen percent worse off battery capacity than yours. At least, yeah, fifteen, fifteen percent. So we've had to come in for a charge. Um, John was showing. What were you showing? Fifty odd percent. I was on twenty, wasn't it? Brilliant. Oh, brilliant. John's got that. So I don't know who he's playing with, but it isn't me. <laughs> Whoa. What? Sensible choice. What was it? Salads and soup. That's fantastic and cream. <laughs> Salads and soup. Honestly. Hmm. This is basically clown food. It's what a clown would eat. Okay, dokey. We are up on the Brecon Beacons. What a beautiful time. So what we might try and do, look at it. We are really high, really, really high. These have climbed all right, they got really hot, but we didn't have to jump off them. We managed to get up here. Should we take the drone out? Nah, be fine. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go live with the drone. It is quite windy, but we'll give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? This is really windy. 
Probably windy. Do you want yeah. to lose a drone? The drone's going to take off and then Whee! disappear over the <laughs> side, never to be seen again. Amy Sampson is saying pretty. Thank you. I think she was talking about the scenery. No. Oh. Wow, it's windy. It's windy, windy isn't it? <laughs> How's it going to cope with this? <laughs> Who knows? Let's find out. So we're ending now, but uh, tune Back in. in a minute. Back stay, in a minute. Stay Don't there. Stay anywhere. sat there in front of the TV. Do not go anywhere. This is going to be awesome. Hey, we're back again. And there is no uh, Facebook Live with the drone. There's been a small accident. I'd like to report that uh, Jonathan has been hit by the back of the drone. So I've got a spare wheel and a load of equipment. Excellent. <laughs> um, now, in truth, what's actually happened here is that... Uh, it is, it is rubbish, it is rubbish. So we're gonna give up on that, it's completely pointless. What it does is it comes out with a massive long error code for the Facebook Live, so that was pre-tested. So it's definitely set up correctly because it's been live before in the test. Um, and on top of that, the stupid little drone, um, it flies up and then it loses all visual on the iPhone, the app crashes out and the screen goes blank. It says connected. Um, but the screen goes blank and you can see nothing at all. Bit of a waste of time carrying it around, which is a bit of a shame, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's about a kilogram. Uh, look at it, look at it, what a waste of money. <laughs> Okay, everybody, we have pretty much now covered the Brecon Beacons. Oh no, I'm pressing all sorts of buttons. Right, low battery warnings and all sorts. But the sun has gone. Uh, apparently, in my ear, I can hear we've got 26 kilometers to go until we get to our uh, destination. <laughs> Don't make me feel that good. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Got itchy head. John's oh. got fleas. Phone's ringing. Hello. Just stop for a minute because John's got an itchy head. Yes, we're there and pretty soon I think. We're on our way. We've got a little bit lost. Uh, we're travelling by electric unicycle. We're 100 miles away. No, uh, a it's unicycle. Place staying. So we're raising money for charity. We're on our way. We just. Uh, we're... Wow. Uh, is that saying you cock? Is that saying? I'm sorry? Yes. Okay, we've got 
eight kilometers left of day one. There's John, can you see him? He's running along. Almost got run over. Hang on the corner then. Stand out. Full beam. Blinded. I could not see a thing. Right, we're live, so the torment that we go through, don't highlight it too much. Um, I'm on low battery warning, um, but we're coming in. It's the last. We're here. We are here. Yeah, I'll go. Should we go in that way? Is that way you can get in there? Is it? Ah, uh, okay. We'll go through that way then. John's gonna enter through the locked door. <laughs> oh, hello. Right, I'll follow John in. Breakfast will be at the conservatory okay. between eight and nine. Okay. Where are you, John? You in here, are you? You in here, John? Is he upstairs? Is he? Yeah. Are you coming? I am. Yeah. I've got to shut it all down. Is he? Has he carried it up, has he? Yeah, he's marvellous, he is. He's strong, isn't he? I didn't do anything to help him. No. Well, loads of people have tried to help him in the past, but no one can. So, don't worry about something else to share a bath, is that right? No, you've got your own shower. <laughs> shower we help. What do you want in the bath to do? No, no. Right. Oh. Oh. There we are, we are here. We've arrived. Uh, need to take my bag off now. Oh, oh man. Right. Put that up there for a second. Woo! You know all the joking we did about blowing the fuses. <laughs> John's blown the fuse, so I was gonna we're gonna have a little meeting about a recap of what happened today and what we're gonna change tomorrow. But I'm gonna leave now because he's blown the fuse in the summer. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> if I have tripped the switch, yeah. I might have tripped yours as well. I think tripped, I think you've tripped all the switches. I'm gonna leave you to it. <laughs> and you can explain. It was the catch on what did it? Was it? Or was it all the high wattage equipment I'm plugging in? <laughs> oh, you know what? Yes, you've, you've tripped mine as well. <laughs> you've, you've literally you've tripped it out and you've tripped all mine out. It looks the top floor of it's just the whole thing. We need to find the fuse bus, don't we? Good luck with that. It'll be downstairs. Will it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Spot there. Yeah, yeah, let's go in the kitchen. So, he's in. This, this isn't, if we can't charge. I'm going to say to you that. The, <laughs> the kettle in and it, and it appears to be. Yeah, yeah. Nothing right. to do with all the electrical equipment you've got plugged in. Thanks. Definitely leave it all plugged in as well, with all the cables hanging out. <laughs> and go, yeah, no, definitely curl. Well, oh, it's weird, we've been here for 40 years, never had any issues. <laughs> just, what were you saying? But the, just saying. Because we weren't filming when you were saying it. Mm. I will plug the kettle in and bar that. And I will not plug anything else in until the kettle is finished. Because of all the electronics. What? It's only one plug. <laughs> Imagine you wake up in the morning, it's tripped in the night, and there's nothing charged. Might have done. Yeah, it might do. I sleep well. Did it, did it, did it, did it. What could possibly go wrong? Bam, bam, bam. All right, I'm going to check mine's actually back on charge now. All right. And then we can have a team meeting. Yeah, we're all good. We are all good. <laughs> John's just fixing his uh, Tom's kit. Didn't fit it properly the first time. I fit it perfectly adequately. I built in a feature that would allow it to eject the same at arrival. <laughs> Just because so. you need to be sharp. <laughs> We've done that. Drop the bit in there. Oh, okay. Yes. Anyway, most important thing, kettle's on. That's not going to go in there too. <laughs> and lovely. Landlady brought some uh, sandwiches. And Chris, um, apples. Fruit. Fruit. Can you be focused on the fruit, please? Fruit. Just bypass the crisp. 